Creating Accessible Excel Files, Chapter 7, Accessibility Testing. This training video is produced by the Accessibility and Policy Unit of the California Department of Social Services. Accessibility checks must be completed on every document type, including Excel workbooks. We are bound to make mistakes, but when we work together and use all of the tools provided, we can create perfect or nearly perfect documents in terms of accessibility. To help create equal access to our content for internal employees and our external participants and stakeholders, we need to use three tools to check our documents. One, the automated check accessibility tool within Excel. Two, the quick checks developed by the Accessibility and Policy Unit. And three, a screen reader to check certain accessibility features. Start with the check accessibility tool within Excel. If you have Microsoft Office 365, you should be able to find the Check Accessibility tool under the Review tab. If you have an older version of Excel, you can also find the Check Accessibility tool under the Check for Issues drop-down on the Info page. The File tab takes you to the Info page. The Accessibility Checker window will open on the right-hand side of your screen. It will point out errors, provide warnings, and give you tips as to how and why to fix certain accessibility issues. Another great part of the Accessibility Checker is that you can select the downward arrow next to each issue and you might be able to fix the issue right there by clicking on the Recommended Actions Presented or you can select Learn More to try and determine the best steps. If you are able to fix everything in the errors and warnings, you might receive a green check mark and information that follows says, No accessibility issues found. People with disabilities should not have difficulty reading this document. Again, these automated checkers are not foolproof, and this green check mark does not necessarily mean your document is fully accessible. Remember that the accessibility checker will not notify you that, one, your workbook has no title, covered in chapter one, two, there is no meaningful navigation or meaningful names of tables and charts covered in chapters 2, 3, and 6. 3. If your table is simple and has been given an appropriate name, nor can it tell you 4. If your table has a title region to connect the column and row headers to each data cell, all covered in chapter 3. 5. If color has been used alone for meaning, discussed in chapters 3, 5, and 6, nor finally, six, if hyperlinks in your file have meaningful text, which we will discuss next. Like any document, hyperlinks must be meaningful in Excel as well. URLs and hyperlink text, like click here, are typically not considered meaningful enough. Since hyperlinks have been covered in both the Word and PDF trainings, we did not create a chapter on it for Excel accessibility. We will walk you through the steps briefly, however. First, to edit the hyperlink, enter into the cell that has the non-meaningful hyperlink and right-click. Select Edit Hyperlink and enter Meaningful Hyperlink Text in the Text to Display field of the Edit Hyperlink dialog box and select OK. It is important to note that even though you may not get a green check mark in Excel's Accessibility Checker, your document may still be accessible. There are certain warnings and tips that may not pose any problems with accessibility, a common warning is for merged cells. Merged cells are only a problem when they are within tables. Outside of a table, they pose no problems to accessibility. You must always perform a manual check after fixing all the issues highlighted by the Accessibility Checker. The Accessibility and Policy Unit developed a quick check for most file types, including Excel. The only item on the quick check that will consistently be addressed by the accessibility checker is whether a worksheet title has been applied. It will not, however, judge the title to see if it is appropriate. Alternative text and whether you may have an issue with color contrast may show up on the accessibility checker, but a manual check of both is recommended. Everything else listed in the quick check which may cause the Excel file to not meet accessibility standards, can only be checked by doing a manual check. Let's discuss each of these items on the quick checklist. 
check your workbook to make sure there is a meaningful title. This was covered in the Chapter 1 video. Select the File tab to get to the Info page and check the Title area. Does each sheet tab have a meaningful name? This is covered in Chapter 2, Creating Meaningful Navigation. Fortunately, Excel's Accessibility Checker does notify you if only the default sheet names are present. This lets you know that you need to enter meaningful sheet names and you can edit them right from this tool. Having meaningful sheet names is similar in importance to ensuring a good heading structure in Word, as they both help create structure and navigation for the screen reader user. Are your tables accessible? There are a few things to consider when creating or reviewing a table for accessibility. We discuss steps for table accessibility in the Chapter 3 video. Were actual tables created? We can create borders and enter data, but assistive technology will not know there is a table on the sheet unless we assign it as such. We also must check to make sure the table has simple construction, no merge or split cells, only one row for the column headers, and only one column for the row headers. Excel's Accessibility Checker will alert you to merge cells. When they are inside a table, they will create significant barrier for the screen reader user. Once the simple table is made into an actual table, then a unique and meaningful name should be created for each table within the Name Manager tool. This tool is found under the Formulas tab, and again, naming the tables provides a way for assistive technology users to find and navigate to tables. Creating meaningful navigation, as discussed in Chapter 2, is a central concern when creating accessible workbooks. Another way to alert screen reader users to multiple tables on a sheet, as well as perhaps as where they start, is to use cell A1 to provide directions. The most important step in making sure your tables are accessible is to ensure a title region has been created for each table. Without a title region, it is impossible for screen reader users to track how data cells correlate with column and header rows within a table. Creating a title region is covered in Chapter 3 of this series. The only way to check if the title region was made correctly is by using a screen reader. Do all images have alt text? Does the alt text suffice? We discuss this topic in Chapter 4, Creating Alt Text and Text Equivalents for Visual Elements. While charts and some images will appear in the Accessibility Checker for missing alternative text, it will not pick up on all visual elements and cannot tell if the alt text is sufficient. In Chapter 4, we lay out steps for a couple of options to provide text equivalents to visual elements within Excel worksheets. Using notes, comments, or data validation input messages are the alternatives we discussed. Sometimes using cell A1 to provide information about visual elements in your sheet or workbook is a good idea. It is important to not only let a screen reader user know that there are certain visual elements, but also why they are there and often directions as to where to find them. Most visual elements, such as asterisks, within a table that provide meaning will not be identified within the Accessibility Checker, and you can only ensure accessibility by manually checking the document. The Accessibility Checker will not always identify when a hyperlink text is non-meaningful. This takes a manual check. Is color being used appropriately? We discuss this not only in Chapter 5, Appropriate Uses of Color, but also in the chapters related to visual elements, tables, and charts. Color is used frequently in many workbooks. The Accessibility Checker will find some color contrast issues. However, it is not 100%. Plus, it cannot check for color being used alone to provide meaning. This requires a manual check. Nice job! The bulk of the accessibility checking has been completed. Using the accessibility checker along with APU's quick check will take you through 95 to 100% of your journey of ensuring the file is accessible. Finally, for our third tool for checking accessibility, we must use assistive technology like the NVDA screen reader to see if the accessibility we applied actually works. 
Certain accessibility features require using a screen reader to test accessibility, including checking the title regions of tables. If your focus was not in the upper left hand cell of the table when applying the title region, column and row headers will not read per the data cell as screen reader users arrow through the table and listen to the data. You can view title regions in the name manager. However, the only way you can test if it was assigned correctly is to listen with a screen reader such as NVDA. Once you develop a comfort level with using a screen reader, it will make checking documents for accessibility easier and faster. Keep in mind with every document conversion that some accessibility features might be lost. An accessibility check should be performed after every conversion. Thank you for working with us and helping us ensure our documents are accessible to our fellow employees, clients, and stakeholders. For more information about this topic or any of the topics in our series, contact the Accessibility and Policy Unit at accessibilitypolicyunit at dss.ca.gov.